Hello and welcome back to our next video. Um, for today's video we are going to make a real simple um, country fried hamburger patty and gravy for you. Um, I do have a large pack of hamburger here that we have gone ahead and divided up and um, put some in the freezer for other meals. This is what I'm going to be using tonight. So I'm just going to go ahead and season it here inside the uh, pan that it did come in or the tray whatever. And I just used some really simple seasonings. This is just regular black pepper. So we're going to go ahead and get that open up and sprinkle some of that across our burger patty. We like a lot of flavor, so, um, you know, do temper it to your needs or desires, or tastes. We have some granulated garlic. We're going to go ahead and sprinkle some of that across there. Next, we'll be using a little bit of onion powder. No measurements here, um, unless we have an actual recipe that calls for measurements. If I'm just making something, I <clears throat> tend to just sprinkle stuff on there. And then we need a little bit of salt. That'll work. Then here in the tray, we're just going to go ahead and smash it all together get those flavors mixed into our burger once we get that done we're going to go ahead and pour some oil into our pan you don't need a lot of oil just enough that it's going to lightly fry the burgers you don't even have to totally cover the bottom of the pan that should probably do it Go ahead and put that on the stove top. And what oil was that? That's just regular vegetable oil. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and turn that on to start it getting hot. Um, I have a little bowl here and I'm going to pour some flour in it. Shake off the bag before I make a mess. That didn't help. We're going to pour some flour in there, just like that. You don't need a lot of flour. And then to give it a little bit more seasoning, we're going to go ahead and sprinkle some pepper and our other seasonings as well in the flour. That way the coating has the flour as well as cooked into the meat. Then I just kind of shake it up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and add just a touch of salt to that. There we go. And that is ground sea salt, but table salt works. Get a spoon. Give it a little bit more of a stir here. Get all that mixed in there. Go ahead and mix this up a little bit more. I think everybody pretty much knows how to make a hamburger patty. You just kind of grab a handful of it. Get it shaped into a little bit of a ball, smash it down. Then I put it in my flour, flip it over. You don't want it too floured. And I kind of just tend to give it a little bit of a shake. I doubt seriously my oil is hot enough yet. No. So we're gonna give that a minute. All right, while we were waiting for the oil to heat up, presto magic, all of my hamburger has been shaped into hamburger patties. So this one that I got floured for you previously, I'm going to go ahead and get it in the pan and just continue on until I have all the burger patties in there. Um, you can see some of my burger patties I make really tiny. And I do do that so that um, I can crumble them into the gravy to give it a little bit more meat um, once we get the gravy going. But in the meantime, we're just going to get these uh, burger patties in the pan and fried up. And once that's completed and they're nice and crispy and cooked for us, we'll come back and show you how to make my gravy. All 
um, we are working away here at cooking our burgers. As you can see, they are starting to get a nice crispy coating on them, that nice thick brown coating. That's what you want for a country fried burger. Um, one of the other things I did while my burgers are cooking that I didn't really mention earlier is I do take a couple little pinches of flour and kind of sprinkle it in um, with the uh, oil so that it can kind of soak up all that flavor too and gives your gravy a nice good a base flavor once you are ready to start that. So we're going to give these burgers another minute. I think they're just about done. And then we will work on our gravy. Alright, the time has come to go ahead and take our nice crispy burgers out and set them aside so we can get our gravy going. Okay, I'm going to get them out and put them on a plate over here. And what is this, 90 10? I don't know. This is 90 10, I can't remember what I bought. For the hamburger. And then um, we want to keep some of that those those flavors in there that were already in your pan. The little bit of flour that I did sprinkle in there. There's some pieces that cooked off of the hamburger. Your oil. And then you're going to take three tables or four tablespoons of butter, about a half a skip stick of butter. I'm going to go ahead and put those in there and let those get melted. Scrape up the font off the tab. The what? Scrape up the font off the tab. Yeah, the font. I couldn't remember what that's called. Deglaze your pan and get all your flavorings up into your butter and uh, oil mixture. Once the butter is nice and melted and you have a nice bubbly consistency there, you're going to take your flour and a whisk. And you're just going to kind of start whisking your flour into your mixture. That's the same flour we use to cook the burgers. Correct? Yes. So it's just the leftover flour from the burgers. And you just want to keep mixing it till the bubbles start to subside a little bit. And it kind of starts to get to a little bit of a thick consistency for you. You can see all that flavor that I am getting off the pan and that has been mixed in there with the, the gravy. And I'm going to go ahead and put a burger patty back into my pan and break it up a little bit. Give a little bit of meat and chunks into your your gravy mixture. And once you get that done, I'm going to take a can of beef broth and I'm going to pour it in to give my gravy a little bit more liquid, and then I'm just going to stir. You use the whole can or? Yeah, I'll use the whole can just a little bit at a time. Want to thicken back up again? It will thicken back up again, yes. And then I'm going to turn up my heat a little bit to bring it back to a boil because that's what's going to thicken it up. And you can use your whisk to mish, mash up your burger a little bit more if you'd like. And you just want to keep stirring that up. And 
And once you get that pretty good, you are going to want to use about another can's worth of water. I have about three-fourths of a can here. So we're just going to go ahead and gradually add that in, kind of thin it out just a little bit. Now it's getting to almost a perfect gravy consistency. I can smell it. It smells delicious. I can smell all those flavorings in it, the burger and the garlic and the onion in there. And then once again, once you get it all nice and smooth, and you can see it has become very smooth now, I have one last ingredient um, that I am going to put into my gravy mixture while it's cooking, and that is a fourth a cup of heavy whipping cream. This is just great value, regular heavy whipping cream. We're going to go ahead and get that poured in there. Get it mixed up. That's going to turn it that kind of whitish brown country gravy color for you. And then that's all there is to the gravy. Basically, once you um, get all that mixed in and it's a nice consistency, again, you just want to let it boil for about three to five minutes to let it thicken back up. So once that does occur, then we will come back and and um, important to note, it will get thicker as it cools. Yes, it definitely will. So if you thicken it too much and then you let it cool, it's going to be like a paste. All right, we're going to let that thicken a little bit and we'll come back and get it um, finished up and plate it up for you. gravy um, has been boiling about three minutes now it's actually a very nice thick consistency so we're gonna go ahead and turn it off and remove it from the heat let it settle a couple of minutes um, one thing to remember too when making gravy it is important to stand and kind of whisk it stir it as much as possible that's gonna keep it um, thickening and all the flavors mixing together so we're gonna go ahead and get it off the heat here and um, once our potatoes are finished, we'll go ahead and plate up our dinner and come on back. All right, our dinner is done cooking, so we're going to go ahead and get plated up. This here is um, the large size Bob e. Evans prepared mashed potatoes. Uh, we really enjoy these. We have them quite often, actually. We find that they're much better than uh, instant potatoes. They taste more like homemade. real homemade <laughs> potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and get some plated up on our plates there for you. Move that out of our way. Then we're going to take a couple burger patties here. Put them on our plates. And some gravy. Gravy for our potatoes and a little bit of gravy on our fried burger patties. Looks delicious. And that's our dinner tonight, folks. We're going to go ahead and have a bite, and we hope you enjoyed watching our video. Come back and watch us again. Thank you.